And finally, there were many strings to the bow of the man best known for his role in Fiddler on the Ruth. Heim Topol was not just a celebrated actor and singer, but a popular illustrator and a charity worker. Now he has sadly died at the age of 87. It was, though, his portrayal of Tivia, the long-suffering milkman, that catapulted him to global fame and, in the process, made him the pride of Israel. He was awarded the country's highest honour in 2015. Not bad, he once said, for a boy from a humble kibbutz. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. One of Broadway's greatest musicals, one of Hollywood's most iconic moments, and yet the star was Israeli. I wasn't brought up in, in Hollywood, I was brought up in a kibbutz. Topol could barely speak English when he first played the role of Tevye and came to be known by his surname only. People didn't know he was known Chaim, they only knew him as Topol because when he came to Britain to first star in Fiddler on the Roof, no one could pronounce it. But the role catapulted him to fame. Recently fiddling on the roof, Israeli actor Topol. And he landed the lead role in the movie version of the film. Tradition! Fiddler on the Roof, a celebration of Jewish culture and the story of their persecution in pre-revolutionary Russia, was a massive hit. Over one billion people saw the film, so they couldn't all be Jewish. He performed the role on stage thousands of times from his 30s to his 70s. Other Teviers knew he was an impossible act to follow. What you have to do is go, Topol was the best, it was perfect, I can't even compete or compare. You know, so let's just leave that and do my own version of it. Topol was so authentic, that's the thing. That's why Jews around the world loved him and that's why also when you take on this role, you, you know that no one's going to top it. He went on to star in a James Bond film. That's no mistake. And Flash Gordon. It's an attack. I remember it. As well as other musicals like Gigi. But his other starring role was to found a charity for sick children in his homeland. It's the most important thing I did in my life. Sunrise, sunset. Another reason why the Israeli president and prime minister were among those to pay tribute to a man dubbed Israel's most famous export. The life and wonderful voice of Chaim Topol, whose death, aged 87, was announced today.